Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we're really grateful for bright sun and warm breezes and the change of seasons and and today. Even though that season at this time of year might change back to the one that was before and we might be a little grumpy at it, later on, Lord, you stand in the midst of all of our changes and you are steadfast. And you are a sure place, a secure place. You are in, in folding arms ready to hold us against the storms. You are ready to set us free and press us on to callings and ministries and duties that we didn't feel, we don't feel we can do on our own. And you are always there, always here, right here beside us. Lord, you are in our very hearts, our souls. And you stitch all life into, into being, into purpose, into calling. And so, Lord, help us in you to do what is right, to serve and to show our love for you that we might be that, that grace that we are meant to be. And Lord, we pray for those who lead us in being good and gracious and kind, but also challenge us in ways to guide and encourage and educate, to lead others, to teach them and show them the gospel. Lord, help us not to be boastful or self-righteous or hypocritical, all those things that hinder the sharing of faith and good news. But let us, in the best ways we can, represent Christ, honor him in what we do, glorify you, O Lord, in everything that we are, for that's the reason that you made us. That's what you call us to be. And all this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> and our reading today takes us to 1 John chapter 5 at verse 19. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. This is not, we're right and you're wrong. And too often that's the experience that people have from Christians, from the church. And the world needs to know that we're wrong, but we're forgiven and we seek forgiveness and we're humble before the Lord and we know our need for God. And the wickedness of the world is that it doesn't believe it needs anything, that it's got everything sorted out or it will sort itself out or that it doesn't need sorting out at all, that it's the path that it's on, whether good or bad is a relative thing. And that kind of wickedness is what God asks us to make our stand of faith about and to tell people, no, there's, there's, <laughs> there's more to life than what we can determine for ourselves. And life in all its forms is, is a gift from God, to be celebrated as a gift, to not be fought over and striven again, striving against others in order to attain, but as it is given to be, to see it as an opportunity to give unto others and to be a blessing to each other and not a curse and not something to be overcome, but to overcome the sin of this world that says we all have to be separated from each other and we all don't have anything to share. That's the wickedness. We have something to give and to share with every single person that God brings into our lives. That's why we're doing this. That's why after this, I hope you are doing something to show Christ's love in your life so that it's evident to all people. That the grace of Christ that is in you may be experienced by the world God has given you to serve. God bless and keep you. Amen.